so it's the morning of behind the scenes of Rusty Autos. I'm going to get up. I just woke up. My hair is a mess. Yes, Rusty does have hair. Um, you've seen it right here. But I'm going to get up. You're going to come along with me, uh, Curtis and Jack for this. So let's move, get dressed and show you a day in the life of Rusty Autos. Hello, it's currently a 25 a.m. The temperature out. Obviously, first things first, as soon as I get up, I gotta feed the fish. So these things just breed like crazy. So if we go up there, you can probably see all the little babies. Um, so first things first, give them some food. This is where they all go nuts and just start eating everything. And then also, we have this uh, Betty right here, and uh, there's a boyfriend down there of Sweaty. So Sweaty and Betty, they're waiting for food. She uh, she actually lets you stroke her as well, but she comes up for food, eats out your hands. She's not shy. He's a little bit more shy, but yeah. So there she is eating away. So now move on to the next step. I mean, you said you wanted to be behind the scenes. I tell you something guys, it's fresh this morning. So, I'm ready, I'm outside. Um, the 350's here, she's a bit blurry because we're focused on me. But what usually happens in the morning is, um, Jack usually comes down, uh, he comes and picks us up. So he comes to me first, um, just because it's cheaper on fuel. Um, and then, once obviously he's picked me up, we then go and pick Curtis up. So usually Jack rings me when he's on his way. More than likely asking me for where we're going for food because that always happens with Jack. Um, it's like his natural thing. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. If he does, I'll try and pick the camera up and record and we'll see what he says. So guys, good morning. It's Curtis. Um, doing something a bit different with the cameras today. Uh, I'm going to do like a behind the scenes. Uh, not sure what the boys are doing right now because it is about half eight. Um, Hopefully they're here soon. Uh, I think we've got a busy day ahead of us at Rusty Autos. Uh, we've got a few people in and I think we're going off to do a remap today as well. Um, so it should be an interesting day. Hopefully there's some work on the FTO. Might be shipping that out today. Uh, got a few people coming down. But um, you guys will see and we'll catch up with the boys in a sec. I'm tired. So I'm gonna go pick Rusty up, then pick Curtis up, and then go to work. What I'm gonna do is just drop uh, Rusty a call and see what um, two of them two are up to. Good morning. Hello. Morning. Is uh, you on your way? Yeah, I'm waiting for Jack. Waiting for Jack. He's supposed to be ringing me. Um, in fact, he's ringing uh, me right now, so I'll be right. caught you back in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, see, right, see you in a minute. Bye bye. Typical Jack. 
that's literally typical. Curtis rings me before Jack, and then Jack rings me straight away. So let's ring him back. Welcome to Gift Gab's voicemail. Typical Jack. <laughs> cool. He's trying to cut. Here we go. Hello. 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 Do you know what's funny? You just rang me. Well, Curtis rang me, and then you rang me straight after. Did I? Did I? <laughs> yeah, Curtis was like, "Are you on your way? Uh, where are you?" Oh. Um, um, sat in the van. Sat in the van. Okay, you're on your way. In a second, I've got a question. What? Food. Food. What'd you, what was that? Food. <laughs> <laughs> I just said to people as well, I just said, literally, the first question you usually ask me is, where we're good for food? Where we're good for food? And literally, you just proved my point. Um, we'll decide in a bit. Um, us at Rusty Auto is obviously like business meetings, so like to make sure everybody knows who's where and what's on point. So we like to go for a bit of food, don't we, Jack? Yeah. Curtis yeah. included. Um, Curtis is probably going to ask the same thing as well, isn't he? Let's be honest. Yeah, he will. You are? You are? I said my arm's aching with this camera, get your arse here. Yeah, just rest it on the bushes so much. Not first time I've got to do that. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we've, we've, we've upgraded, though. This camera's heavy. Massive. Well, well, this camera's just probably fall through the bush. Wheel, steering wheel, pal. Ah. Well, this one will probably fall through the bush, Jake. Alright, well. <laughs> right, <laughs> see, right, see you in a minute. Bye bye. Right, see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. So, luckily, he lives probably two minutes away from me. So, we'll see this in two minutes. So, Jack's here. Good morning. Hello. Go on then, show him inception. Come on. Show him the, show him the view the other way around. Preferably <laughs> not through the glass. Wait. Hold up, because because hey. your camera's so big, you can't even see your face. <laughs> so um, it's, it's time to pick Curtis up. We didn't actually mention to these people as well that it is actually Sunday. Yeah, it is Sunday. It is a Sunday, and we do work on a Sunday, so remember that. So we're going to go pick Curtis up now, aren't we? Um, Jack looks happy, happy little camper. Um, and then we're going to go and go to the unit, aren't we? Really. So let's go. Let's get three fat guys in a Gavan. Gavan. Do there is one thing we forgot, you know? What? Sandpaper. Ah. That would be whose fault? Ours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So usually. Uh, this is a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, but usually we go through the pages and reply. As you see, we've got lots and lots of messages. Shout out to all you guys that are messaging the pages for work. But we do go through uh, and reply to them, which I'm going to do in a second off camera. Um, the focus on this is not the best because we have to manually focus all oh. the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, they've so, seen the bold jack now. And this, <laughs> I hope they laughed as much as we did. They're but, gonna laugh. Um, but we're on our way to pick Curtis up now. So he lives Kirkby. We live basically Sutton, don't we? Pretty much. Well, um, you're like on the border, aren't you, Mansfield and Sutton? Mansfield, Sutton, Kirkby. So he's like the one that's no, yeah. no so one cares about. If you guys, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys obviously are kind of new to this channel and you just clicked on this or you've come back from a very long break from us, we do have two places. We've got a unit in in Sutton. And we've got a unit in Ollerton, haven't we? Yeah. We're mainly at the one in Ollerton. We kind of use the one in Sutton for our own personal things. Um, the one in Ollerton, obviously, we've got a ramp in it. Oops. <laughs> and it's just to tilt the window. And it's four <laughs> times, it's obviously like four times bigger, so it's, it's a lot better for us. I'm going to take them off because I'm getting mega glare. Uh, it's a lot better for us, obviously, with the forging and stuff. Um, to be fair, when we get there, you're going to see some behind the scenes of us stripping the FTO which you probably will have already seen before this goes live anyway. And food. Um, and food, yeah. So this might be a bit longer than normal, but you know, it's another it's another perspective. So if you guys do obviously enjoy this video, make sure you're smashing that like button down below. Um, and welcome back if you are fresh. Um, <laughs> fresh? Yeah, fresh. I'm not feeling fresh. No, I'm not either, but... Um, as a ritual as well, Jack was late again this morning, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, yes. always, always late, every every morning. I think there's one morning where he's been on time in the last year. <coughs> That's over exaggerating. <laughs> no, it's not. In fact, no, there was one time when you was on time for a week. Yeah. A week, yeah. So I'll give you that, a week. And I've got to put up with what? Yeah. 
What? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let me just get my spectacles back on. Is that you can hold it steady over this? I don't know. Um, I'll embrace it. We're going to go over a train line. But, with... Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to go and pick Curtis up. Do some malarkey. Obviously, you've seen some footage from him already okay. so far in this video, if he's recorded anything, which he should have. Um, he will. But... Another reason why we've done this is because it gets Jack and Curtis in comfortable in front of the camera a bit more because you're not really that comfortable are you sometimes um, but obviously when you're alone and you are I've got a camera like I'll record in the middle of a shop I don't, I don't, I'm not bothered um, it don't really bother me that much <coughs> but um, obviously Jack and Curtis because they don't not on camera all the time 24-7 um, well, like, it's a, just not speaking no it gives them a bit more you prefer you prefer me to speak don't you yeah it's easier um, but obviously I do want him to speak in some bits as well sometimes. Like I've obviously started to strip down the course range and then and now. Yeah, you're learning. Yeah, so I'm learning obviously bits and bobs through the mechanical side. You probably won't see it. There'll just be one video all of a sudden of me and Jack's both stripping an engine each and they're gonna be like, boom! <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> it'll work. So like I said, we're gonna go to Curtis. I'm gonna stop rambling because we've got a lot to show you today um, and we'll see you guys very soon. Hello. Yeah, hello. We're outside. My race just gone. Yeah, alright. Grab me some milk. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Ignor he is ignorant, isn't he? Yeah. Let's, let's see how long it takes him to get out. Look, this is two perceptions, look, here. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, ho ho! Wait, can I do that? Um. Yeah, I think you can actually. Yeah. You zoomed in? Yeah, but it's not as good as yours. Yeah, HD and all that. I'm right on the door. <laughs> Wait, if I just... This is where he time-lapses it, so it's like <laughs> counting in the corner. Are you focusing on me? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be dangerous, all three of us with the camera. <laughs> where is it? Probably dropping kids off at pool. If you know what that means, comment down below. Oh! Little fuckers. I think they're so funny just holding the camera. Look yeah, there. look at him. Look how happy he is. <laughs> I suppose I should get out, shouldn't I? Yeah. This is our three fat men squeezing in a van. Oh, I'll get this. <laughs> oh, oh. We're already three fat men squeezing in a van. Yeah. Morning. Hello. We have to we have to do some leanage. See? Are you in? It's yeah. not that bad. You in? Yeah. Yeah. No, Curtis, like... move over. Go, on, Curtis. Put, oh, wait, that's not put your seatbelt oh, on. I got to put my seatbelt on. Ow! Put your seatbelt on, Curtis. Don't use my. <laughs> you have been, I've been having fun with your cameras, boys. Yes. Yeah, are you? Yeah. There best not be any nudes on there. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to the unit. Let's get. Oh, you're still recording? Hello? Yeah. Are you not recording? We're all in. Yeah, we're all in Inception. It's like camera and a camera. And a Whoa! Okay. Too That's many enough. cameras. That's enough. Okay, we're out of focus. Let's go. <laughs> One hour later. Record, so I'll hold the camera for him. <laughs> so we, we're here. Um, gonna go and open up the shop um, on a Sunday. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. No rest for the, for the rest of the boys, is there? No. Never. Alright, so we're in. We are. So we've been printing some of these off actually, aren't we, Curtis? Yeah, yeah, we've been doing um, quite a few of them. We obviously the Forged by Rusty Autos, which goes on the rock cover um, of the courses on that that we do, or any other car to be fair, because um, we don't need to forge um, the XRs. Yeah, we don't <laughs> Um, we literally do everything, so we're going to take a walk, let's get this focus, there we go, take a walk down here, so we've got 
quick tour, literally a really quick tour. So we've got that one in for a forge, engine's already out. Um, this one in for a forge, uh, engine's already out. That had piston four failure. Yeah, piston four failure. This one had piston one and four failure. Um, if we go over here, you'll probably see this on social media um, at some point, because we do post quite a lot. So this is the one that I stripped down on this side. I mean, Jack's got the same layouts and stuff, so we make sure everything's all the same. But on here, so piston one, bent. Piston two and three, perfectly fine. Piston four um, also has a slight curve in it. Um, so that's unfortunate, but this guy um, is obviously gonna get it forged, running as well as it can be. So that's one set. Um, then this side, we've got the other one. Perfectly fine, everything was all perfectly fine. The piston had a few slight bits on it on number four, but there was still um, piston four failure. So again, so tight at the exact same as this side. Everything's kept separate. So the two engines don't mix. So first things first, we come in, we obviously turn the alarm and everything off. So if anybody's thinking of robbing the place, don't. Um, Jack, obviously as a fag every morning, don't you Jack? He has it after every movement of his body. <laughs> Jack, you just said you might need another fag in a minute. I'll go have a coffee after. Yeah, um, so first things first, we do the coffee. Um, we do just general checks just to make sure everything's all right. Um, and such, which it should be, yes, everything looks all right. Um, got the office at the back as well. We are going to be doing some recording today on um, basically a behind the scenes sort of thing because we're doing um, the video on the FTO, which you'll see. You've probably already seen it, but you'll see like a little behind the scenes thing recorded from another camera, which is gonna be interesting. Um, we've got some stickers and stuff to print. We've got uh, a few people coming in for some stuff as well, which we'll probably pick up the camera and record and just show you some behind the scenes shots. No how to's or anything like that. Completely different um, vibe on it. You've probably already seen the start of this build as well. The um, 550 brake horsepower plus one JZ. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump into this, make some coffees and see you soon. That's over there making some coffees. I'm sure you'll see him keep the camera on in a second. But whilst I'm just over here editing some videos. This is uh, Chaser Park 3. <laughs> Them guys. How difficult that is, yeah, actually um, looking where you're going. Cheer up, Rusty. There's no milk. <laughs> yeah, but. Look. How are we supposed to do it with this? We can get two. Do you reckon? Yeah. There's three of us. Yeah, Curtis don't want one. He, deserve, he don't deserve Oh. Alright then, see that, Curtis. I what I think. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't see it. This course is in the way. <laughs> Oh. Smile. We're gonna make. We're gonna make this happen. <laughs> Do it. I'm waiting for a kettle. Well, you put water in before milk. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Because it's other ways dirty. Why is it dirty? You don't burn the granules. Yeah. What do you mean you don't burn? You the don't granules? burn the coffee granules. You should put milk in first. No, you're, you're not supposed. To. Thanks, Curtis. What? You said you... I'm right. No, you're supposed to let it. That's tea. No, you're supposed to let it dissolve first, because if you don't let it dissolve, you get all them black bits on top. Ah, uh, yeah, they're nicer. So. No, they're not. No, they're not. But <laughs> all right, comment down below how you make coffee. All right. Milk first or water first? I'm getting judged. It's water first. It's milk. It's water. Milk. You're dirty. Because then you burn the sugar in the milk. See? You don't burn it. It does. So, oh my God, these guys. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it, but like... <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, that's pretty dark. Oh no. I mean... No, that's all right. Look, there's no burny bits on top, look. Yeah, but it tastes fun different. I'll have less of your lip. Curtis, what are you doing? Eating fish sticks in the morning. 
So we're we're going to go for breakfast, but what, hmm. well, what happened to that? We haven't got time. We've got customers, Curtis, on a Sunday. Them once, we, once we've had customers in, we can go and get some food. Mm. Yay. But show them what you're eating. Oh. Crab sticks, bro. You never <laughs> had crab, crab sticks. sticks. This Ooh. is fine cuisine yeah, in Japan. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, not actual, it's not real crab, though, is it? Like, yeah, that's a real crab. That's a lobster right there, look. No, it's not. <laughs> right. It's give me the pack. That's give, a lobster. The pack. Pass it here. Let's see what it actually contains. Fucking hell. That's, that's a lobster. Crab flavoured. <laughs> Crab flavoured plastic. <laughs> I can't even say that word. Water, wheat what? starch, potato starch, <laughs> rapeseed oil, sugar, salt, dried egg white. Crab extract. Crab extract. Crab extract. I'm going to edit, edit it so it's just a lobster in his hand. It's just a lobster. It's not a yeah. lo <laughs> lobster. So guys, back on the computer. Uh, just doing uh, quite a few things with the Facebook page. Uh, now that we've got Restore designed, designs as a actual Facebook page itself. Obviously it gives you more option to messages. Obviously we've got Rusty Autos and then Rusty Autos Designs which handles all of the designs. Speaking of, we've got Rusty over here doing some more of the forge stickers we, sh we were showing you earlier. The, the weeding. The weeding um, I don't like to say anything but um, obviously we can print anything for t-shirts. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like for example, I can't see that. yes, um, custom design. Custom design. Which do is different. Our own t-shirts. But um, yeah, we can pretty much do anything here. Uh, at so we're just weeding some of these for our own. These are for our own stuff. So our um, forging. So we'll have forged in a different colour, so people can choose a colour. Then this goes on the engine or on the car somewhere um, for the customer once we've forged them. So we like to print them out ahead of time. So we're not um, waiting for them to be printed. So just saving time, efficiency and all that. And Jack's over here, he's about to jump onto, actually no, we're waiting for a customer, aren't we? Yeah. 10 minutes and they should be here. And then we've got another customer, and another customer. And another, 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 another. It's another. actually really busy, say it's a Sunday, like, it's, why, it's why, one of the reasons why we kind of come in on Sundays, um, because everybody's at work, it's not convenient for everybody to have a day off. Like, who wants to have a day off and use an holiday um, to come and have work done or anything like that? So it's just more convenient for other people if we're open on a Sunday. So that is mainly why we are open on a Sunday. So you'd be surprised the amount of messages we actually get from work um, on a Sunday at the last minute as well. So you'll probably mm. see some behind the scenes things today of just probably just from a far of just doing what we do basically. So I'm gonna go ahead, start weeding these, and then um, Jack's gonna continue eating some celebrations. <laughs> So this here is our little list. Um, we like to keep obviously up to date for you guys with the content. So this is a list that you've probably already seen by now. Um, Curtis is just signing into the YouTube page. That's copyright free, so don't you worry. Um, so we're gonna go through, if you go to the scheduled list, we obviously have to make sure that um, all the videos, so here, you can see, where his mouse is on a scheduled one. Yeah. So you can see that we schedule them. So we always have to make sure we go through and check the times on them just to make sure that um, they are up for the right day and we're not gonna upload two at once. Yeah. Lamal. <laughs> um, but we've got extra things to add to the list. So like I said, we always try and keep ahead. Um, so that is the list for now. That takes us to the 24th of January. So there's another four videos for Curtis to edit, or well, they will be after today, um, including this one. So we're gonna add these to the um, footage and schedule that we've got. So it's 29th of December today, but we are a month ahead with the videos, which is great. And currently. And currently editing some more bits. Um, Jack's just putting the wheels on that VXR so we can push it outside for ready for a customer coming. Um, there's a couple of people coming today, like I mentioned earlier. Usually we'd be stripping um, some of these engines down for the VXRs, but we've already done it, haven't we, Jack? Yeah. 
How long did it take? Which bit? Taking it out or stripping it down? Stripping it down. About an hour and a half. How long did it take me? Oh, from that point? Yeah. Should only take about half hour, it took you about 40 minutes. See? I'm not that bad, am I? No. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fully qualified. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> not fully qualified, but kind of bitch. There you go. Jack, we need to print them things. Oh, no. Yeah, we need to do that, actually. Yeah, okay. We'll get, oh, God, Curtis, we're so zoomed in. Hello. We'll get to that at some point in the future. But merch, guys, merch, T-shirts, £9 on the website, air fresheners, vanilla cheesecake, um, yeah. three for five pounds. They smell amazing, last forever um, as well. So, get them. Hello. <laughs> Are you recording anything? A little bit. Mm, bit. We'll soon see. Uh, no, we'll just. We like doing these forges, don't we? Yeah. Because we can actually pro like, provide um, a forge at a good price as well for people rather than getting, I don't want to say ripped off, but there's other companies that charge nearly about a grand and a half more than us for the exact same thing. Yes. That we, we uh, excuse me, that we do, didn't they? And we do the pretty much the same thing, if not better. Um, yes, we also offer finance. Yeah. Yes, we offer finance as well, so you can split the engine forge up over monthly payment. So not many people offer that as well, which is great. Great. Um, we're getting a lot of people come in, like these two, obviously, over the Christmas week as well. So you can imagine how busy we are generally. <laughs> um, yes. We don't really record a lot of the other stuff, though, do we? You know, because. Um, once yeah. we've recorded the one forge, I think the only other one we're going to record is yours. Because um, there's not really any point in us recording that much stuff, is there? No. So... Sound effects? <laughs> Scoot. Um, so yeah, we're going to get the chaser out, push it out, push this out, because unfortunately... Shock! There's got, no engine. we got no engines. Um, <laughs> How are you supposed to do a race for us, Jack? With no engines? That's Curtis. <laughs> do you know what that's from? I know what that's from. Are you sure? I do. I'm you not guys gonna, know what that's I'm from. I'm not going to say that. If you know what this is from, comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to push these stuff out. Um, have a bit of a rearrange so we can get the ramp free for these customers coming in. Hey, man. Right, so first customers outside, first customers here. Jack and Curtis are just talking to them while I talk to you guys. I'm going to get this in, see what's wrong with it, and then get on to the next one. So, one customer down. Out of probably life. about a million left to go. <laughs> so, We've again, you don't see all these jobs, do they? They don't see all these jobs that we do. So basically what was wrong with that is, um, he was complaining about, um, was it noise, Jack, he was complaining about? Some rattling, wasn't it? You heard it, do you know when you were driving off that yeah, squeak? Yeah, so he was complaining about the squeak and he, basically his air comp pipes have been disconnected, so you think what, Jack, water's getting in, uh, places it shouldn't be. took his air comp pipe off of the uh, compressor, mm. so water's just getting in. Hopefully you heard that. You should have heard that. Um, so it's getting in crevasses, isn't it Jack? Crevasses, yeah. It's getting in crevasses as it shouldn't get in. So, we're going to wait for the next customer, obviously in between stuff, we're going to do the stickers, uh, people's t-shirt orders, and all that great stuff. Um, but again, you guys don't you necessarily see that sort of things, do they? You don't see no. the odd customers that come in, Curtis yawning because he's bored, yeah. um, and Boring. all that sort of stuff. But we're probably going to order food, or go and fetch some food, because I don't think we're going to have time to actually go to the pub. Mm -hmm. Um, time so we've got the FTO to finish as well today. People to come in. Um, make sure we've got everything we need as well to rebuild these engines back up. We are waiting for the pistons. We've got to load the head and the cranks in the car. We've already mm -hmm. took one head and one crank off um, to the machine place to get them skimmed. We can't send the blocks off 
until we get the pistons. One requires 79.5mm pistons, the second requires 80mm pistons because the block is quite severely scorned really. Um, that was the one where the rods was bent on cylinders 1 and 4. So we're going to do that later on before we leave. Um, other than that, yeah, let's go. Food! Yes, sir. It's, I've got an Astra VXR sitting at home, not being used. So we just, obviously the Astra came in for a, a misfire, so he's just had the spark plugs changed. The spark plugs was a bit knackered, so he's just going to take it up and down quickly. Like I said, we're not going to go so far in depth with this. He had a compression test as well, just to rule that out. Um, so yeah, here we go, we're about to find out. I think that's what he said he was doing before. Yeah. So we'll wait to see if he comes back and see if it is. If it's not the, the spark plugs, because obviously we've used the NGKs, which he requested he had in before. It's obviously going to be the, there's only two other options. Compression test has obviously been ruled out, so it's not that. Um, and then obviously you've got the coil pack um, and the uh, MAF sensor, which could be faulted. But we'll see what he says when he comes back. He's doing some just circles now, just to test it, as you've got to do. Right, so I take that back. We just hit him good out street. It's not misfiring. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack's just finishing them off here. I'm just going to quickly show you what we're talking about. So obviously, Rusty Autos, well, forged by Rusty Autos, is going on to the rocker covers. It's not even a rocker cover. It's not a rocker cover. It's, a it's coil. close. It's close to the rocker cover. So it's a coil cover. Although everybody does call it a rocker cover, but it's not. It's a to cover the coil pack. So. Layer that on, and then this is where we can't peel it up because I've stuck it down too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll just leave it like that. Go. Done. <laughs> Let me go from this edge. For me to. I ain't got nails. I haven't either. But. Yeah, you have. They are nails, mate. Bro, I cut them this morning. Mine are like stubs. Did you record that this morning? I did not record No, you left that bit out then, didn't you? I recorded oh, yeah, everything I'm sure, this I'm morning. I'm sure the viewers want it. Yeah, 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 you having an absolute pooper on the toilet. No, I wasn't. I mean... Well, I've not, I've yet to see what Jack did this morning. Alright, we're off, we're off. <laughs> Are we on? So we're the the um, so yeah. <laughs> No, we're always professional, unless it comes to the FTO. Yeah, that... <laughs> Why did you just um, touch my shoulder? Hit your shoulder. So... Better focus here. <laughs> so if we go here, this... Oh, cut for another... Oh, no, I thought we were going to have to cut for another five minutes there while I peel this off. One minute forty, actually. But... This is exactly what we're talking about. Now because it's so intricate and small at the top. It's a bit of a um bit of a bugger. Do we need to cut to an intermission? No. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll add that bit on after. So the bolt didn't stick on very well. But you get the gist of what's going off here. Um so obviously it's gonna be forged by Rusty Autos for all of the um, cars that come in. The forge will be a custom colour. I'm gonna go and get the tweezers and stick this on. Right, so, <laughs> for some reason, Jack and Curtis wanna do a burnout, or try and do a burnout in the What's this about this burnout in the FDO? No, I don't. <laughs> no, you no. Do. <laughs> right, so what, what's actually happening? I don't know, Curtis wants me to do a burnout. Who won, who won, who won? Right, so we're doing it, well, fuck it. It's behind the scenes. We don't usually show this stuff, so go on, Jack. Give it up. Not gonna do it. It probably isn't, but why not? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did. Look at this. Oh my God! <laughs> snaked it. Absolutely snaked it. That's quite funny. That is. Just imagine when that thing's got the twin turbo on it and the nitrous as well, that's going to be funny. So, you're going to see some behind the scenes now. We've got the original decap part. If you remember, 
you'd gone back and seen that um, we did a makeshift one on this. We've actually got the prop one, so we're going to quickly put that on. But again, we're going to record this as a separate video, so you'll see it all behind the scenes. So we also be stripping the interior on the the uh, Japanese import project car. Um, oh, Jake! <laughs> um, we've got the details on. <laughs> so what we're going to what's going to happen now is. Look at him, thinking he's a YouTuber. Um, hi, you guys behind the scenes. Um, okay, this is literally recording some other bits. You'll see that video soon. So it's kind of like an inception. Um, but we're just uh, recording the uh, the cat. We're taking this juicy thing off. That down there. But uh, we'll see when we get underneath. Just us fucking about. I was a burnout. Just big, big fat 11. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm late for the football. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to get this thing off. Um, but we'll see you when we get underneath. Um, but yeah, we'll see you when we get underneath. Right, so the interior is stripped out the FTO. Obviously, you'll see that in a separate video. You, well, you've already seen that actually, probably by now. Um, but the day is pretty much wrapping up. It's about half past three on a Sunday. So, What's happening now, since I pushed the Corsa and the Chaser out, Curtis is going to push the Chaser on his own um, up the ramp, so we'll see, see what happens. Oh, it's slowing down. Yo bro, this shit's heavy. There we go, what's up? Yeah, no, that's too heavy. What's up? I thought you could do it, it all the It was lighter last time. <laughs> One handed, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one handed. It's alright, I'll do it. I'll do it, boys. Fuck yourself. I'll do it. Where's Jack? In the car. Yeah. <laughs> so, what we're doing is. I'm gone. So, what we're doing is we're just locking up, um, locking everywhere. Bringing the cars in, make sure everything's secure, alarming everything as well. So the alarm's on, uh, all the tools are away. Um, that's pretty much it for today. I mean, this is a Sunday. During the week, we are a lot busier as well. We had a few people come today um, for work. So again, if you guys do want any work done by us, we do custom clothing, custom t-shirts, um, sticker printing, engine forging, mechanics, wrapping, decals, we do livery on cars, we can pretty much do everything. So drop us a message, let us know what's happening. We're gonna lock up, jump in the van. See you guys in two seconds. So obviously we've got to check the head for the black VXR and the crank. We can't check the blocks until we get the pistons. So we check these for now, get these done out of the way. So yeah, you probably won't see us drop that off because that's not gonna be in today's day in the life that would technically be two days in the life so we're gonna go to the van all right so we are pretty much done for the day it's four o'clock um, sometimes we stay a lot later than this on a Sunday but there's not really anything else we can do to be fair we stripped down the um, cars the chasers waiting for prefab work so that needs to be sent off um, so really we're waiting for everywhere to open again so we can get parts Oh, because Wozner's not open yeah, till the no sixth. Um, we've got the obviously the block and the crank, not the block, sorry, the head and the crank in the back, which we can drop off tomorrow morning, which you guys unfortunately won't see. Um, but we can't send the blocks off till we've got the pistons, so it's just a waiting game on them. It's why they take so long, the forging and stuff. Um, it's not the case of stripping them down. We can get an engine and, and take it out and strip it down in a full day, um, really. And it's just the waiting on the um, stuff that we don't really touch. Pretty much so, just like the pistons and that. Yeah, yeah like yeah. obviously we fit the pistons and everything else, but you have to get the block reboard um, and everything else. But we are the cheapest around that do the reboring um, and the forging as well on the VXRs yeah. by at least, what, a minimum of grand. Yeah, some people it. charge. And we, and we offer finance. Yeah, some people charge a lot less, like obviously 1800, 1900, but they don't rebore the block or anything like that. So. 
and in our experience you end up using a lot of oil it starts drinking a lot of oil does it jack yes so that's why we um we bought the blocks but it's that time of the day we never ate we never ordered anything we never went for a business meeting because we was that busy this is sometimes what happens the sacrifices us. we've got to make for you lot yes yes not like we... we're wasting it away right but speak for yourself sorry dude <laughs> um, I don't actually complain that much about food today. It's because we're busy. We never really do when we're busy and we've got stuff to do. But we do sincerely appreciate you guys coming down for work. Um, and like I said, if you do want anything, just hit us up. Hopefully you guys are like this video. It's a little bit different to something what we normally do. Um, so we're literally heading home now. We're going to get dropped off, drop Curtis off, drop me off. Um, and then we do the same thing again tomorrow, but obviously depending on who's in and all that sort of stuff and what jobs. Um, we've got obviously stock to, to look at and everything else and make sure we've got plenty of vinyl. Uh, to be fair, we should have probably gone through that to make sure we're doing stock checks and that. But I suppose if we do another day in the life, we could do that again. Um, we could do a day in the life of obviously the sticker side and the t-shirt side and all that sort of stuff. So um, from us, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for liking the comments and thank you all for buying the t-shirts and the merch and the air fresheners and all that. We sincerely do appreciate that. So, um, bye from me. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> Felt like we were on, like, what's it called? Was it Barney or something? <laughs> <laughs> Never watched Barney. It. What? Yeah, was it That's Barney? The purple dinosaur. Yeah, was it yeah, Barney? Yeah, it was yeah, Barney, Barney, yeah. I'm quite surprised I remember that. Okay, back to the point. See you later, guys. Take care. Trippy is that though? That is pretty trippy. That's trippy on camera. I bet it's trippy on camera.